Good evening and welcome to Left, Right and Centre this Tuesday night. I'm Nidhi Razdan. On the show this evening, Italy's huge snub to India as it refuses to send back the Marines who killed two Indian fishermen last year. New Delhi has just lodged a strong protest with the Italian envoy. But we ask, is that enough? Has India been too soft on Italy? What are the options before the government? That's our big debate. Well, just a short while ago, India's Foreign Secretary Ranjan Mathai summoned Italy's envoy to India and lodged a strong protest over the decision to not send back the Marines who killed two Indian fishermen. The Marines were allowed to go home by India's Supreme Court not once, but twice. Once for Christmas and then last month to vote in Italy's general election. Italy's ambassador had given a written undertaking to the court that he would ensure the Marines came back. New Delhi says this assurance has to be fulfilled. The deadline is the 22nd of March. That's when the four weeks that had been given by the Supreme Court for the Marines to return expires. After the snub, Italy is ambassador to India summoned by New Delhi, which lodged a strong protest against Rome's decision to not send back two Marines facing charges of murder for killing two Indian fishermen last year. Italy is obliged under the terms of that assurance to ensure that the two Marines retur return in the time frame given by the Supreme Court. He simply took note of the position conveyed to him that the message we had received from his embassy was not acceptable. Government sources say India's options are limited. The expulsion of Italy's envoy is one since he gave an undertaking to the Supreme Court that the Marines would return to India when the top court allowed them to go home to vote in Italy's general election last month. But a section of the government feels it will only escalate matters. Another option allowing the trial to proceed and if the Marines are found guilty, the government can ask for Interpol to issue a notice, but that may not help much. The third option going to the International Criminal Court but India has been trying to avoid internationalizing the issue and insists the case does fall in India's jurisdiction. Yes, sir, car ki sochi samji ek purva nirdharit rananiti ka hissa tha. In Kerala, there is massive anger. Abre kundu renda uchre baal thom baad thodiyum nishe maayum kendra government yatta dusko naanu poyiri kena to kendra government India. As the issue snowballs into a political one, questions are asked about why India's Supreme Court allowed the Marines to go home in the first place, first for Christmas and then to vote. And as the external affairs and the law department discuss the legal fallout, a political call will have to be taken. Vindidi Razdan, Sunil Prabhu, NDTV. And so has India been too soft on Italy? That's the question that we're asking tonight. As this diplomatic row becomes bigger and bigger, you can also take part in this debate via the Second Screep app on your Android and iOS devices. You can uh, log on to that and to our NDTV app and vote on the questions you'd like us to ask. Joining us tonight on the program from the Congress Party, Dr. Abhishek Singhvi, Rajya Sabha MP. Chandan Mitra, Rajya Sabha MP of the BJP is with us tonight. Mr. MB Rajesh, Lok Sabha MP of the CPM, also an MP from Kerala who met the Prime Minister on this issue today. Mr. K.C. Singh, former secretary in the Ministry of External Affairs, is with us. Mr. G. Mohan Raj, the special public prosecutor from Kerala, joins us tonight as well. Francesca Marino, a senior Italian journalist in Kolkata tonight, she's there and joins us uh, from there. We'll also be joined shortly by Dushant Dave, senior lawyer the, from the Supreme Court. I'd like to ask Mr. K.C. Singh first. You know, why did this happen right now? Because you had them going home for Christmas, they did come back. They go home now to vote and they don't come back. What's, what's going on here? No, this can be explained because they went home. The permission was given by the Kerala no, High I Court, not by the Supreme Court around Christmas. They come back because by then they had gone and appealed to Supreme Court. So they thought probably Supreme Court may side with them. Supreme Court judgment comes around January 18th. And that's when they knew the road is blocked. But Supreme Court said it cannot be tried in Kerala. It has to be a union government uh, court. appointed yeah. court. Special court will conduct the thing and that is when I think they decided that all avenues were closed now in India uh, Therefore go on leave and not come back now Why the Italian government did that at this stage? Uh, it's the same government, but it's an interim government So they probably thought that if they have to take the take any ODM they can take it on them It doesn't affect the relations a new government may come in a new prime minister may come in um, There any number of explanations, but really it's very odd it's very odd, but have we been have we been taken for a ride in all of this? I mean, how does one 
explain how the Indian government has handled all this. Obviously, it was the court's decision to, to send them. But then, did the Indian government not argue the case strongly enough in court against letting them go Have home? Never. It's a very rare case to law. There have been such incidents all over the world where ships have a collision or people die in a collision. Maritime jurisdiction is exercised. Rarely do you find that someone who who is being tried for a crime is allowed to go back and forth to his own country and come back. Uh, without without somebody accompanying him or police force accompanying him or without being in custody. How do you allow someone to return to his country? It's a very exceptional sort of thing. Okay.